The GeoTab Tachograph feature has three modules, RDL, Remote Download, TAC, Driving Times, and AFA, Advanced Analyst Data. This video will present the RDL module. The RDL module helps to manage the remote download of legal tachograph files and driver activity cards by backing up files to ensure effective and centralised custody. It also helps to save time as drivers can continue to drive while downloading legal files. The module provides tools and reports that can speed up related tasks such as revising pending downloads, incorrect locks, card expiration and file collection for inspections. To access the module, click Tachograph in the left menu. Click the drop-down menu at the top left to access the reports. The RDL module has four reports, status, downloads, company cards and inspections. The status report offers real-time information on the connectivity of the company card as well as the tachographs and the driver cards inserted in those tachographs. The information at the top of the report indicates the issues that need to be fixed. The tachograph connectivity column indicates if we can do a direct download, if we need the vehicles to have the correct on, or if we need to take the vehicle to a maintenance shop to fix the installation. One of the most important indicators is the one that shows us when the tachograph is locked. A locked tachograph with a different card from the one used for the download would download files that would be invalid if used during an inspection. We can also see errors or warnings found in the files for each unit. Other key indicators shown in this report are legal limits, upcoming downloads and the next revision date for the tachograph or the expiration date of the driver cards. We can click the speaker button to receive weekly notifications on the status of the downloads. The company card section shows the list of company cards assigned to the fleet. Along with the numbers and names, there are other important pieces of data like the current status, the name of the last equipment and where it was connected, the expiration date and the last connectivity date. In the view configuration settings, we can view cards that have expired and we can see all the cards that have been assigned to the fleet. The Downloads report provides a list of all downloads of vehicles and drivers in chronological order. Each row begins with an information icon about the status and validity of the file. Click it to see more details about the origin of the file. It also offers information about the content of the files, indicating the data range they contain and when they were added to the system. We can add files using the Upload option or Download Selected Files with the Download option. The most useful feature in this report is the Wizard. With the Wizard we can select one or more vehicles and it will automatically detect which drivers have been active during the selected time period. The Wizard will also select the necessary file to cover that period and the system can show the selected files and the activity within those files. You can download files grouped by vehicles, drivers or both. The Inspections report allows us to save inspections submitted by the administration with the parameters indicated. To create an inspection, we only need to add basic information to the form, such as its reference, the list of vehicles to inspect, and the date range requested. Once the configuration is done, we can check the inspection by clicking its row. Drivers with activity and their corresponding files will appear automatically. We can check if we have data in the legal files to complete the selected period or if we need more data. If you need more data, you can schedule new remote downloads or add files downloaded by another system. Once the inspection is 100% complete, we can download all files as a zip file or have two zip files, one with vehicle data and another with driver data.